April and didn't think much about it in July. Make a lot of sense at the beginning of the year. Because some of us didn't think we'd make it through 20. We started to lost it that's almost not the life out of us. Amen. And I just want us to take the time when the song says a thing that reminds us of a thing to just take the thing in. Amen. Thinking about uh, the first time Peggy to the church up with when I look back over my life and I, and I think things over, right? Because we really don't want to do that. We want to, every once in a while, take a pit stop if the word suggests that perhaps we might need to reflect. But we don't really want to do that. We want to believe that it's get on with it, uh, brush your shoulders off and move past it. But every once in a while, you got to stop it. Take it all in. Amen? So what the song that's wrote in this song is, all I want to do is bless your name. Right. And this is what I spend the rest of my life doing. Right? right. So if you keep thinking of those pray God tomorrow, God got to do something today. Right. I always say to somebody, there's a, 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 a song that says, God never does anything that does not the cross. So yeah. It's not change the person saying, God never does anything else for me, God does not. Unless you say that, drop dead. <laughs> God keeps on. Yes. 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 We talk about it, we curse and then who's God will you dead. If I say God never does anything, and then God keeps doing stuff and I don't acknowledge it, no. you know? It's like grandma bring out the first thing, you know, you know, who grandma is that? Hey, oh, 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 oh. How does God look good? How the opening did you ever go to a restaurant where you yeah. spend good money yeah. and the appetite that gets you excited? Yeah. 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 Anybody ever yeah. eat food and yeah. thinking about food? Yeah. 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 Because your brain is thinking about blessings yet to come out. Oh, I want to Yes, I 
before we go digging into the case, let's ask a few pertinent questions for us. Amen? So as we examine the scripture, hey, hey, as we examine the scripture, let's examine some things. Amen? First question. What was the building? Because sometimes people get lost in the scripture. I've given that before. And have to say the word church, right? Well, there are a couple of things about this building. You know, in some of the newer versions, they say the house of Jesus. But we call churches house of worship. Amen? Amen? And we know it wasn't uh, an actual living in the regular person's house because many of them were meant built with certain kinds of fabrications. And based on where they were in this very arid space, most of their rooms, even in nicer houses, were something of a stucco, something of a of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a of a gathering of reeds that was the roof, amen? Only the big houses had towers, amen? So whoever it was had a house big enough for a bunch of people to gather. And, somebody say and. and. And for all of the Pharisees and teachers from all of the villages to also be inside. Huh? I know you can't think like that, because sometimes we think, I'm like, when my family comes, I don't know if I can handle all the people in my house. I don't know if I can handle all of them. But if all those people came to bless the Lord, if all those people were believers like you were, you would let No. You would gladly let them in. Amen? Even people you work with, even people you didn't know. Because you know, Christian folks, we, we, we say we follow the Christ, but then we get to church and tell them I know the people. But I just want us to be mindful of what it feels like to be in an unsafe space and see somebody who feels like they are somebody you might want to know. And so to test it out, you go, they go, good afternoon, good afternoon, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, you got a whisper like it's a little, you know, anybody, it, 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 no, no. I remember one time me and my best girlfriend, my best, best friend, just a college, best birthday I've had. We uh, traveled Europe together when we were in, uh, when I was in my junior year. We went to town in Florence, right? We to Florence, Italy. And we just come to the street corner and we were trying to find somewhere to go street shopping, right? You know, it's all the all the tags, all the labels. You recognize those in the big school with college students. We ain't never so we But we were in Italy. And we knew if there was good houses we got. It was in the time anybody it never saw. So while we were looking around, we got to the street corner and walked into these three black people. I remember black people doing the party. Two black people going to the street corner because they were actually they were so I'm afraid of each other because there were so few of us. We stopped and talked. By the time we got finished talking to these strangers, we knew the best place to eat, the place to get our hair cut, the place to get good shopping, the place to go tonight, and where we were going to see them uh, that, that night sick. Hello, somebody? Because we were able to see each other. Because it didn't matter what building we were in. It mattered who was in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Second question, Father Hunter, who was watching? Huh? I want us to be very clear that when we are called into the house of worship, some people come to worship. Some people come inside just to get from outside. And so we want to be conscious of the name too, and probably God called you in, right? Because sometimes we think we're all coming to look this way, right? Perspective. I'm going to sit down here, I'm going to look this way. I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to look this way. I'm going to log on. I'm going to look this way, right? But, somebody say but. Uh, this no-name man uh, got his friends to carry him in whatever he was lying on. Uh, I can't do it, lie. I can't make it, lie. And it was, that, that was wrong, so whatever he was lying on, whatever malady, whatever thing, he ate too much power, whatever he was lying on. While everybody else was watching Jesus, somebody was watching the news say, oh, I heard Jesus is coming. Okay. Right? So they were listening. While somebody was watching, using their eyes, somebody else was listening. While they were doing laundry down at the river, while they were all the places where the people who didn't have much gathered, Jesus is coming. Girl, I heard about him. You 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 heard about
rock the clothes on the rock, where they take care of somebody else's child on the hip, where they're doing their work and somebody else's work, where they got three folks out. Hello, somebody. Somebody I heard Jesus coming. You heard Jesus coming. I heard Jesus coming. I don't really care. I heard nothing about it. I heard blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, they catch a glimpse of that woman over there, that woman over there, who's just smiling about she's about begging the clothes on the rock. And my girl, what you smiling about? She was like, well, I like that brown, uh, that little brown sarong you got on, and them gold earrings. And she said, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Weren't you blind last week? I'm trying to tell you, Jesus is coming. And I heard him coming. And I went all the way across town to a prayer meeting. I'm at the house of worship. He laid hands on me, and now I can see you. Huh? Will you come back next time? I mean, I don't need to, because he came with the spirit of healing, and I'm healed. But I'm going so I can bear witness to anybody in the crowd that then he can't do what he said he's doing. Yes, he can. Uh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. I'm just going to praise your name. Yes, I'm just going to bless your name. But Jesus said, take this type of the blood. Oh, mm, mm. Yes, he can. Uh, he can pick you up, turn you around. Uh, look at me. Yes, he can. when she was just taken at this particular Tiffany and she sang to the man in the wheelchair stood up and it shook her because she thought all she was too cold that it was to sing out this way. God said, just bless my name. I'll do the rest. Anybody, anybody. I just wanted to get this so that we are open to perspective when conversation is about perspective shows up for people of God. Hello, somebody. So, what was the building? Who was watching? Why were the people gathered? Okay. Why? We get to the point now where my client can sing, so and so might come to the morning service, Bishop so and so is my bishop. People are real quick to get to the point about their church. Okay. My church, oh, oh. why y'all gather, huh? I want somebody, huh, would be all right, huh, saying, I came to church with me, mine, and what I'm lying. Okay. <laughs> My malady, my partner, and what I'm lying. Me, my Tuesday attitude, my state mind, and what I'm lying. Me, my y'all come, y'all ain't y'all gonna hurt. You're gonna just got to witness from somebody else. Why you here? You said he could do that. Maybe he could do something. Because you got to get yourself in 
and all of this stuff together in order to ask this question. How did they figure out what to do? You there. It looks like your circumstance has hindered you. It looks like the thing before you has blotched you. It looks like you can't do anything. Somebody said, I can't do it. Right? 
right? What's the problem with that? Rose gave you three other options. Okay. If you went down the Golden Girl path, you understand? Right. Right. But she said, how can I say this in such a way that you will get me and what I'm trying to get? Rose.
Well, she can walk into the kitchen and go. That's right. That's right. That is that, that a little coriander and a little bit of salt. Not a lot, just a little sprinkle. You know? A sprinkle. She can almost cow the grain. One, two, three. That's it, that's it. <laughs> she wasn't a scientific in her background, but somehow in her discernment, that was somebody mm -hmm. just like that. The four men, one of them I believe, ran the little, little machine. One of them stomped with their feet and made bricks. But between the four of them, they could look at the building and do a calculated analysis that if we, in fact, take out the tiles number 43, 44, 45, 47, 48, 42, 49, I don't know, 22, 29, I don't know it's for balance. Hello? Then we'll be done. We'll take these out the whole thing and pull out. We gotta make sure we create air and rotation. What? That don't make no sense. Watch this work. That was about it. It may not make sense what God is trying to do with it. But watch it work. But God said, not that. Not those. Not here. You wanna do it in the quiet and the dark. And I need you to bear witness and be I need somebody to see you do it so they can talk about you while you do it. Who is she? She ain't got the capacity. Who is she? Why is she ain't? Who is he? Right. Why is he put? Y'all understand me? God said, I need you when you want to hide out from me. No, no. Not no. Not here. You want to be blessed in private. God said, I need this to be a public prayer. I need other people to bear it. But they were walking through your demise, waiting for you to fall. Yes. Just walking in the building, start with some people. Yes. Walking in the building with her, start with some other people. <laughs> Standing up and reach something, start with some other people. But laying hands on yourself, you'll start on you. Did not hear me? Sometimes you need to lay hands on yourself and start on yourself. Heal yeah. yourself, girl. Yeah. You feel like your mind ain't right? Touch your own mind. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute, huh? If you would just wait a minute, wait a moment, wait for God, huh? Wait for God, and you're going to get your chance to do that. Wait for God, and you're going to get your chance to Somebody that you want to run and hide. And God said, Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. You hear that sometimes when the trap is like that? God said, Hold up. Wait a minute. Who are these people today? Get on my God. God can see that you're trapped. I'm not going to get the praise.
very hustle. You know what I mean? You can, it's light and airy. You can have a good time. You don't have to drug you on. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying, I could have looked at anybody in here. Had this in mirrors, I'd be talking to myself. But I'm talking, I'm talking to my 13 year old. And so, da, da, da. but on the album, you know, after she had finished up, uh, Mr. Melody, the, 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 the guy on the drum goes, wait, now he goes, what? Ain't nobody said nothing. She just screams out, what? Well, all right, the drum goes, one, two, one, two, come on. In his church, I know the frame, I know it. I was like, why is she doing this on this song? Why are they taking the disco song that's only supposed to play in the house of the club to the house of the Lord? And next thing I know, she's saying, and then she goes, you know what to do to get into the room. And she said, every people, everybody, and she didn't turn up like, that's me. I know the children, I didn't think it was the children. I thought she was Tell me about all you want. 
the trust now, do both. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your sins are forgiven. Four miles to forgive sin. Your pa our pastor forgave my sin. No, you forgave your sin. That's right. Give it up. Turn it loose. Let it go. Because as long as you get stuck in that, yes. stuck in this no, yes. stuck in this no, yes. stuck in this pattern, yes. God can never use you because you can never hear God. Yes. God's not trying to meet you wherever it is you are. Can I buy you a drink? Ooh, I don't know. It's too much. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bunch of drink because I say ain't doing nothing no more, is it? Yeah. I ain't doing nothing no more, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to return the X to you that you thought was the best thing you ever did. I go, what's wrong? I'm going to take a couple of days before you go, ooh, that's my life. Exactly. That's what you want. Because yeah. I'm trying to bless you. That's it. Yeah. That's all. God is trying to set you up. God is trying to set you up. God is trying to embarrass you. God is trying to make you look bad. You know, God is trying to bless you. So that's it. That's how they bless me then. You want me to bless you from your friends because you can show up and they need your friends. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. A real one though. People don't like talking to God like God talks. Okay. Jesus said, Jesus didn't even hear. They didn't even say it out loud. Who is this boy? Who is this fool that he's speaking all the time? Why y'all even got that in your hearts? We hear people getting hands laid on. We hear people shouting. We hear a man just coming through the ceiling. And all y'all can talk about is who is he that they What about that? 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 Well, you are church for witnesses. What about that? What a matter of fact that I know the day I should have been dead. I remember the plane rocking. I remember the car flipping. I remember the hand slapping. I am here as witnesses that God can do all things for me. Yes, Pastor. But what have you done for you? God is a blessing that is pouring out blessings day by day by day. If you ain't got nothing to come here, not know, not here, move over here, huh? Amen. You're sitting there, move here, huh? Yes, you think thinking here, move here. Yes. God said, I got something for you. I got something. Who I want somebody to hear? First thing, I got something for you. You want it? Yes. I got something for you. You want it? Not here. Yes. Not know, not here. Yes. Not know, not here. It's all the time. Yes. Not know, not here, not sit. What you, you come to church for? To see if the spirit of healing is in the room. All right. All right. If the spirit of healing is in the room, what you gonna do now? Huh? What you gonna do next? You want some? You want some? But I ain't I ain't, I ain't just double I ain't jump double dutch in so long. God, you tell me I gotta get in the midst of all of that? You've been making it through the midst of all this crazy, through all of this foolishness, through all of this madness, and all that now you're shocking.
who struggle with who they are. To walk past the door and hear me preaching to y'all, holding hands with my preaching about y'all. Everybody, huh? Uh huh? What kind of church they have in there where everybody seems to be walking? What kind of church they have in there where she dressed like that, he dressed like that, he preaching to them, he preaching to them, he preaching to them. I told somebody the other day, one of y'all grandmothers came to church one Sunday, and she pulled me off to the side. She said, Pastor, I just want to tell you, when my baby said that this was a affirming church, I ain't know what that was. I'll show you and get that public up. So, I want you to know God likes you. Yeah. God likes you. You're perfect. I want you to know what I want you to go through. I love you. They don't expect out of somebody. Yes. A big black man with black stuff in his back and a switch in his head and say, My God can do all things. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 